What is up everyone, Josiah here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I apologize everyone for delaying all of the posts. It's because I am doing a lot of projects nowadays uh, academically and also in my content creation. Today, we're going to talk about things I wish I knew when I started programming. Let's go! Disclaimer, I just saw this post sa Facebook and I'm going to ask myself, if these things apply to me when I was still in first year. In some point, meron naman tayong pinagsimulan, hindi naman tayo ganun kagalingan lahat, unless kung ikaw talaga ay super genius sa computer. Hey, okay, this is a good content for you guys para masabi ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung mga naranasan ko noong first year or noong nagsisimula ko mag-start mag-learn ng programming. Alright, let's start. Number one. Statement number one, you learn by doing. Actually, this is very true because kapag gumagawa tayo ng mga projects natin, tatandaan mo, kapag hindi natin sinasari yung sarili natin sa pagpo-program, tapos puro basa lang tayo ng mga articles or binabasa lang po natin ang ating mga modules, there's a possibility na kapag i-compare mo ang dalawang programmer, ay dalawang tao or dalawang estudyante na nag-learn na programming by just reading, by doing the project itself, mas marami pong matututunan ang ginagawa na yung mismong project. Mga first year po dyan, um, it's better for you to create a lot of projects, uh, kahit mga simple projects like yan, like building a calculator, building your own checklist. I promise you, gagaling kayo. Meron kayong mapupulot kahit paunti-unti na small projects na yan. Number two, programming isn't like studying for a test. Yes, memorizing stuff doesn't matter all that much because um, lahat naman po yan available sa internet. When we go to a company, uh, we will work as a team. That team will continue to, de continue to develop that project kung ano man yung binigay sa inyo. Siyempre, hindi mo naman kailangan i-memorize. Hindi mo naman kailangan i-memorize yan. As you just need to look at different references available in the internet. Sobrang lawak ng field of study natin, hindi mo talaga, hindi mo talaga mamamemorize lahat yan. Third statement na nakita ko dito, cheating is completely acceptable. Huh, I wouldn't say that cheating is the correct term, but I would say that googling or looking at different references in the internet is acceptable. Matulad nga nasabi ko kanina, talagang humahanap ka ng mga references mo galing sa internet. Tatanda ko nung first year ko, talaga nagre-rely lang talaga ako sa internet. At let's be honest, Google is our number one best friend. Sa tayo gumagamit ng Google sa pag-find ng mga answers or pag nagre-review tayo or kapag gumagawa tayo ng projects, kahit hands-on yan or uh, asynchronous classes, talagang matyagaan talaga tayo na google ng ating mga answers. I wouldn't say that, that we should cheat in examinations. It's a no. It's a no. We are in a company or we're developing a project. It doesn't matter, guys, if we got it from Google, if it's from a website, if it's from YouTube, if it's from Stack Overflow, it doesn't matter. It, it's already existing, guys. The references are already there. Sabi ko nga sa mga videos ko, lahat ng videos, parati ko sinasabi to, it's already there. You have to utilize it. Ahala ka na kung saan mo pa paikot-ikotin yung codes na nakita mo. You can customize it and make it your own. Number four. Learning by yourself is really tough. Actually, yan. Yun rin yung naranasan ko nun. Sabi, ko, sabi dito, um, talking about code and collaborating with other aspiring developers is a better way to learn for most people. Mahirap mag-develop ng isang project, mag-isa. When you're alone, it's better to collaborate with your classmates, it's better to collaborate with your group of friends. It's because tulong-tulungan kayo at saka ang experience ko nung first year nung mag-isa lang ako nagko-code, parang na malungkot siya para sa akin unlike kapag kasama mo yung mga group of friends mo na sabay-sabay kayo or nagtutulungan kayo 
kapag may question ka ba about this block of code, may error kang na-experience, tapos at least, di ba, meron kang mga classmates na pwede kang damayan sa pinaghahirapan mo <laughs> or pwede mo silang pagawin. If it's a group project, pwede mong yun na silang gumawa nun at baka mas makuha nila or pwede sila ang mag-assist sa'yo dun sa error na yun. So, it's better for us to have teamwork. Uh, sabi nga, no man is an island. People are built for social socialization. Next topic, changing bad code is part of the process. I used to think that every piece of code I wrote needed to be perfect, but making improvements to your code is normal. You're not writing a book that can't be published one, once it's published. Actually, that's true. When we are creating a project no first year, merong mga checking sa mga professors. So, yung first year kami, yung structure ng code namin is spaghetti. Ito yung tamang term eh. Parang spaghetti coding. Pumunta ka dito sa section na to, babalik ka dun sa section, parang paulit-ulit. So, Sobrang gulo, hindi naman intindihan ng professor. Sabi niya, anong ba tong code mo? Sobrang gulo. Like, hindi ko ma-understand. Walang comments. Yan, guys. Tatandaan nyo, comments are very important. Tapos, wala pang proper indentation. So, sabi nung professor ko, um, refactor mo yan. Merong mga mas efficient na tools or mas maraming mas efficient na functionalities na pwede mo makuha sa internet. Meron kang makukuha na uh, different algorithms, you should say. You should say like that. Uh, maraming algorithms or maraming functionalities na makukuha mo sa internet na pwedeng mag-apply dun sa mismong code mo. Tapos, uh, ito pa masasabi ko guys that programming is a everyday learning experience. So, ibig, hindi ibig sabihin na uh, natapos mo yung project na yun, okay, okay na siya. Kung magana ng code mo, hindi ibig sabihin na tapos ka na dun. There are still bugs and improvements to your codes to make it faster, more efficient. Next statement, let go of your emotions. You're going to see, your, you're going to see error messages on your journey. Fireworks. You're going to see error messages on your journey to becoming a programmer. When screwing up is such an integral part of the process, you need to be okay with making mistakes in order for you to grow. Second year, nagkaroon kami ng data, data structures and algorithms na subject. Umiyak ako dun. Nahirapan akong i-comprehend kung paano ka siya i-apply doon sa ginagawa naming project. Dito yung subject na you'll really find a better algorithm, use a certain algorithm to make your code even faster. Kailangan mo rin i-defend kung bakit yun yung algorithm. Sobrang dami ng tinuro ng professors namin like within 6 weeks, na-overwhelm ako, meron akong time na talagang naiyak. Umiyak talaga ako kasi wala eh. Ang daming errors doon sa code. Tapos, Nung first year pa ako, nung nagtakal kami ng Java, hindi ako ganun na practice. Hindi ko na practice yung Java subject noon. That is why kapag mahina ang foundation mo sa isang programming language, lalo na kapag hindi ka pa nagbabasa, hindi ka pa nagpa-practice, so tapos yun pa ang subject mo, data structures and algorithms, baka mahirapan ka. Pero what I did was, it took a time off, for one day, hindi ako nag-code, magpahinga ako. And then, after that day, medyo na-relax na ako. Then, the ap after that day, I prayed, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng knowledge and understanding about this. And boom! Na-fix ko yung mga bugs na kailangan namin ayusin. There's a big difference between a capital letter and a lowercase letter. It took me a while to get used to noticing subtle 
differences between similar symbols and it can be pretty frustrating until you get used to it. Actually, ma hindi lang sa capitalization. You can apply this sa uh, um, structure ng code mo, lalo na kapag hindi to maayos. Sa naming convention, ma-apply mo rin yan. Proper indention, um, it's, there's a big difference, lalo na kapag binabasa mo yung code mo. It's either marirelax yung eyes mo doon sa code na ginagawa mo, or kapag hindi maayos yan, may rita lang. Hindi mo mababasa ng maayos. Samaan mo pa ng hindi pagko-comment. Mga naming conventions mo, hindi maayos. Like, what is X? What is Y? What is ABC? O, what the heck are those? Hindi mo naman ina-identify kung ano yung tamang naming conventions sa bawat isa. So guys, uh, first year pa lang, what I suggest is, you have to practice proper naming convention. Kailangan nyo nang ma-practice yun simula pa lang. statement, trying to understand everything is a lost cause. In the beginning, I tried to chase down the why to every problem I encountered. This isn't necessary. Computers are so complex and there is so much to learn. And you're never going to understand everything. And that's okay. That is true. Sabi ko sa iyo guys, um, sobrang lawak po no field natin. Hindi po natin uh, maaaral in one semester or in one class what i suggest everyone is just to keep on learning natapos mo yung semester that's good keep on learning natapos mo yung year na yon yung school year na yon that's great apply that subject in your next year like kapag gumagawa ka ng project continue that project sa next uh, next school year mo Lalo na kapag gumagawa ka ng mga web applications, try to improve that project, di ba? Hindi lahat yan maaaral ng isang, uh, isang go lang. Pagka-graduate mo, pag pumunta ka sa isang industry, uh, maa-apply mo yung mga pinag-aralan mo, I'm sure na uh, marami ka pang mapupulot along the way. You don't need to be a math genius. If you're not a math person, that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you can't be a programmer. Yes, na hindi mo kailangan maging magaling sa math, pero it doesn't mean that you don't need to learn mathematics at all because you need a lot of logical thinking when you want to be a good or a better programmer. There are advantages na magaling na person sa logical thinking, marunong mag-analyze ng isang uh, situation, Tanggalin na rin natin yung sinasabi ng lahat na kapag IT daw, walang mathematics. Meron pong ba sa uh, ating pag-aaral bilang BSIT? In the long run, ang kailangan mong pag-aralan is yung pag-a-analyze mo ng code. Last statement, always celebrate the small wins. Building stuff with code is really cool. I never would have arrived where I'm at if I hadn't stepped back and admired the awesome things I was able to build along the way. Natatandaan ko yung nung senior high school ako, we did a project reminiscing to those times where I've been na uh, gumagawa lang mga small projects like that, like available na sa internet, plug and play lang. Tapos nanalo kami dun sa competition na yun. Small victories like that um, can cheer you up sometimes emotionally. Small victories natin na, uy, meron akong bug na, in na encounter. Tapos biglang na-fix mo siya. ba diba? parang ang saya tignan na, yes, na-solve ko yung problem ko na sobrang, like, 30 minutes ko na siyang tinitignan. Tapos na-solve ko siya. Kumbaga, wow, di ba? Ang saya tignan. I mean, eto yung sinasabi nila na small victories, you have to celebrate it. Even though na sobrang konti lang yan. Kasi in some point, yung spirit mo, maa-uplift rin yan. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope na meron kayo napulot. These things are uh, small encouragements for you beginners in programming sa mga high school pa lang dyan, or 
mga first year students na sa tingin ko nagsa-struggle sa programming ngayon kahit online classes guys um pagpursigihan nyo yung pag-aaral nyo I know it's hard for us pero guys what I can say is just keep doing what you're doing you're doing your best keep up the good work let me just encourage you a bit just love what you're doing I know it's hard to become a good programmer but we all started somewhere yeah so ayun just keep on learning thank you so much for watching this video please continue to support me in hitting that like button and also comment kung ano yung mga napulot nyo dito sa video na to and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel please 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 do continue to watch this video and continue to support me and by subscribing and also hitting that notification bell this has been your host Josiah Marcastor and see you on the next tech tip bye guys